Hi everyone, this video is going to be of this piece right here that I painted back in September. I really like this painting, I really wanted to share it with you, so this is the video of me painting it. Quick note, I'm having a clearance sale on my shop right now for 20% off everything on my store. There's a code, everything is on the screen right now. If you would like to check it out, the link to my shop is in the description below and it will be going on until the end of March. The aim of this sale is for me to get rid of 90% of the prints I currently offer. So once March is over, I will be discontinuing all the pieces that are marked as last chance on my store. The sale code is valid on everything on the store, not just the last chance items, but all the last chance marked items will be discontinued permanently once the sale is over. I'll have a bit more information about why I'm having the sale and how I think the current situation is going to be affecting it at the end of this video. But right now, let's jump into the painting. So this painting was probably one of my personal favourites from 2019, hands down. I absolutely loved painting it. Sometimes a painting can be really stressful and I can have a lot of points where I feel like I'm not going to manage to make something out of it or like I really don't like where it's going. This one flowed a lot more easily than a lot of my other paintings and generally felt really pleasant to paint a lot of the time. I did have my occasional moments where I just wanted to throw it against the wall. But that just comes with the territory and is just something I expect to feel now. <laughs> the most important thing about this piece was the fact that it felt like a milestone when it comes to developing my style. There are a lot of elements in this painting that I absolutely love, that really resonate with me and that I'm excited to reproduce in future paintings. So for example, I kept the skin tone of my character quite muted, not too colourful or saturated, which is a look I've been trying to achieve for a while but never fully knew how to go about, and I felt like I reached a certain milestone in painting this particular character, something clicked and I started to understand what I wanted my characters to look like and how to achieve that look when painting. Another element of the painting that I really loved and that I'd like to reproduce in future work is the fact that I used two different styles to paint different elements of the painting. So most of the character and the background are painted in layers of watercolour, very very watered down. I am trying to make everything look quite light and quite ethereal. But for the flower I decided to do something that had a lot more substance and I went straight in gouache with a very brush strokey, quite rough, very saturated and very colourful look. I wanted the flower to contrast with the rest of the painting, not only in its colours and vibrancy but also in its painting style. Another element that I thought was really fun to paint in this piece, but I don't think this is going to be any news to any of you, is the snake and trying to make it look translucent and also quite luminous. I'm working on a small tutorial about painting translucent objects, particularly from imagination, for my patrons and I'm thinking of maybe turning it into a bigger Skillshare course at some point because it's actually not that difficult to paint translucent objects and there are a few key rules that you can follow that will make something look translucent fairly easily and so I, I would quite like to share that information and I'll try doing a small tutorial for my patrons first and then see if I can turn it into a bigger class at some point. 
The idea for the snake in this painting actually sparked a few other ideas with snakes and flowers and even led to me designing my first pin. A big thank you to all my patrons for helping me choose the final design and the final colours and um, I'm hoping to maybe try and get it produced at some point. I don't know how the situation in the world will affect that at this point in time um, and I also don't have enough money to get a big number produced yet. But I'm currently looking into how to get it manufactured, how much it would cost and all that. So hopefully sometime this year I should have my first spin available on my store at some point. Speaking of what is going on in the world right now, um, I just hope that you guys are all doing okay, um, especially mentally because I realise that this kind of thing can really affect a lot of us um, in our heads and in the way we feel and think. I know that personally I have an anxiety disorder and <laughs> this kind of thing is definitely something that triggers it. I also work from home, I also work on my own, I don't have a lot of human interaction other than with my boyfriend, my family, my friends uh, online. <laughs> So um, I can definitely go down the rabbit hole a bit more than is really healthy. So I just wanted to send you some love and some support to all of you out there who feel you might need it. And a little extra pinch to all of you that feel like you are a heightened risk, who are worried about anyone you love or who have anything that's been going on in your life that feels way more pressing than what is going on right now in the world and feel like that might be overlooked at the moment. I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Everything might feel like it's going to be a bit more hectic and chaotic for a little while, but things will settle down eventually and we just need to stick together in the meantime. Don't worry, I won't be talking about what's going on in the world on my channel very much. I don't want my videos to be somewhere where you go and just hear more of the same thing. I would quite like my videos to be more of a haven, some place you can go to think of other things and indulge in the things you love, rather than hear about the things that worry you. So hopefully my videos can be a little bit more of a chilled place where you can just come to enjoy yourself and relax. Talking about my channel, I'll have a video very soon, a big announcement telling you about all the changes I'm planning to do. Um, I will be taking a small break with my channel and coming back with a revamped and a redesigned channel. Uh, I have exciting plans for my future videos. I need a fresh start. I feel like um, you may have seen me mention that YouTube has been kind of <laughs> burying me a little bit and it's kind of brought me down and it's made me not enjoy making videos as much and stuff like that. Feeling, feeling the pressure more and basically taking the pleasure out of it a little bit. So I want to find that pleasure again and I'll have an announcement very soon to let you know what I'm planning and I hope that you'll enjoy the changes too. Somewhat in contrast though, uh, we just seem to have hit a hundred thousand subscribers which is sort of unbelievable and amazing and something I never really fully truly believed would happen. <laughs> So thank you so much to all of you that just joined, to all of you that subscribed, to all of you watching my content. You're amazing and I truly mean it because as an artist there is something really invaluable about feeling appreciated and about my work feeling seen and thank you ever so much for showing your appreciation in this way. I'm going to try and organise something to celebrate properly, maybe like a live stream if you have any ideas on what you'd like me to do for it. Do leave a comment, I would love to hear your ideas. Um, I'm not entirely sure when I'll be able to do this but I'll keep you updated and in the meantime a massive Massive, truly heartfelt thank you for such a big number. It's crazy and it feels amazing and it really helps. It's just amazing. Thank you ever, ever so much. The video is nearly over and I'm going to let you enjoy me painting the flower and the painting of a little bit of music and I'll be back soon to wrap up the video. See you in a few seconds. <laughs>
And here you go, here's the finished painting. I decided to add a little bit of some peeling action for you guys because I think we all enjoy that kind of thing. <laughs> I uh, didn't use a hairdryer for this one, I used some mixed media paper from Strathmore to paint on. It was very smooth and so it didn't tear as much as I'm used to when I remove tape. Usually if I feel like the tape is going to tear the paper, I use a little bit of hair drying on the tape before removing it so that it softens the glue and prevents tearing the paper, but I didn't have to do that for this one, um, which was very pleasant. I always remove the tape before I'm entirely finished with the piece and then I add a few details once I'm done removing the tape because it gives me a better look at how the finished piece is looking and what I might want to change or add to it. So that's why I'm still going in with a few touches right now. But overall I'm so happy with this piece, it's one of my favourites again from 2019 and I hope that you guys like it too. It's available as a print in my sale by the way if you're interested in having a copy of it. Before I go, I have a couple extra things I wanted to tell you, so stay tuned for real life me talking to you in a second. Before I leave you, I quickly wanted to add a couple of notes about the sale I talked about in the beginning of this video, as well as how I think the current situation in the world might maybe affect it. So this sale is the first step in a sequence of events that I started to plan out a few months ago in order for me to be able to move forward with a bunch of different projects that I've got planned out. The past couple of days I did wonder if it wouldn't be better if I postponed the sale and fortunately that would basically mean cancelling it. And one of the key things that I need to do right now in order to be able to move on to the other projects I've got planned is reducing the stock on my store and taking off a big portion of what I've got listed at this point in time. So if I cancel the sale that would mean that I'm taking everything off the shelves without giving anyone a chance to grab any of the prints that they might really want to grab before I discontinue them. So I figured I would go ahead with the sale, obviously if you can't or don't want to participate in it, and <laughs> I'm not, you know, that's completely fine obviously, but I thought I'd give anyone who would like to grab a piece a chance before I move on with things. Obviously, I have no idea how uh, the current situation in the world is going to affect things. I suspect that postage services might be slowed down a fair bit. Uh, maybe I might not get the supplies I've ordered in time, things like that. I'll keep you all updated by Instagram and YouTube. If anything happens that will slow down the process of your piece getting to you, I'll let you know as much as I can. So things might be a little bit slower than usual, things might process a little bit slower than usual, things might take a little bit longer to get to you, but if you do decide to participate in this sale, um, I will do everything I can on my side of things to get everything running as smoothly as possible and as fast as possible. Um, things might be a little bit more chaotic than usual, but I'm sure everything will sort itself out eventually. But anyway, um, I just wanted to quickly address the elephant in the room, basically, the big thing that's happening right now. Um, I've had this sale planned for this particular time of the year for a while, <laughs> and I really did not expect the world to go a war. Um, no one did. Thank you if you decide to get something off the store. It's always really lovely and a really great help. Um, and if you don't, just watching this video is lots and lots of support as it is. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you liked the painting too. And most importantly, that bird is really loud. <laughs> most importantly, I hope that you're well. I hope that you're taking good care of yourselves. And um, I hope to see you very soon in the next video. 
take really good care everyone bye